Okay, so what was the first question? The first question is, where and or how did me and her meet? In Yell it out. City. In New York? No. In Magic City. Yeah? I, how do you get that wrong? <laughs> it, was, it was at Magic City and or Twitter, because we met on... We met at Magic City, and she knew that we were following each other on Twitter, but I had no idea that I was following her on Twitter. And I was dancing for her. Some guy that I know was like, dance for her. So I started dancing for her, and I'm talking. I'm like, oh, you're cute. Your hair looks nice. What do you do for a living? She was like, nothing. I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like where are you from? She was like, New York. I was like, well, my boyfriend lives in New York, so we can do nothing together. Lean forward and untuck your booty meat. Pull out the cheeks. Okay, let me tell you. I don't care how much you got, pull it out. Now, we're doing isolated booty cheek jumps. Yes. And then like, all of y'all want to learn how to do. Right. So. But in order to be able to do it like that, you got to be able to, you got to like control it first. So we, this is the exercise that you do that teaches you how to control the muscle by building up the muscle. Your booty muscle is the biggest muscle on your body, but it's the weakest muscle on your body because you don't use it for anything, but what you're using it for now, and that's sitting on it. So we have to wake up. A lot up. of times you might look at a stripper, like go to a strip club and be like, oh yeah, like I can do that. I can go up there and pop my butt. But we actually learned that it's the actual technique to popping your butt, you know? It's a technique to everything, it seems like. I would say it does create more confidence because like when I was stating earlier about you feel like what the strippers are doing is like impossible, you know? And when they're actually teaching you step by step, you feel like, oh, I can do this too. And so you feel just as good as the strippers actually look, if that makes sense. Don't pull yourself into the pole. And you're not gonna pull yourself into the pole because this arm gonna stay straight, right? Right. Right over left. Listen, listen, y'all, pull y'all shorts up. Y'all need, this is your pole grippers. This little meat right here is your pole grippers. So pull your shorts up so that your pole grippers can grip the pole. Okay. Yeah, okay. Left leg up. Mm -hmm. Right leg over your left. Oh, God! Okay, so pull your hands up. Now pull up to your hands. Abby, I'm not there! Wait, then y'all better hurry up. I really appreciate girls that admire us because everybody can't get up asshole naked and dance in front of people. I don't understand why people look down on us so bad. Like, we ain't doing nothing wrong. We don't dance on Sundays. We get by Sunday, you know what I'm saying? Like, the club is closed. So what can you really say? I'm just saying. The top misconception. Everybody thinks strippers are hoes. Everybody thinks strippers, like, do it with everybody. People think that we just do it just to look pretty or just to get their husbands and this and this and that. Your husband's coming here for a reason. We didn't make them come here. We didn't call them. We didn't even know them. A lot of men think that we trick off. A lot of women think we trick off. Um, I'm not going to sit here and say that all of us don't. I don't. <laughs> but um, that's one of the biggest misconceptions that I will say. A lot of people think that we get paid to do other services. Strip has always been taboo because there's good clubs and there's bad clubs. There's more bad clubs than good clubs. You know, there's more hole in the wall, get your duck sucked in the corner for $40 clubs than there are Magic Cities and, you know, those clubs that are clean, as I like to say. Um, so, and then you have, like, the, the, the image that is portrayed in TV and in movies. Strippers are, like I said, prostitutes, and strippers are crackheads, and strippers don't care about themselves or their bodies or anybody else. And you get that stigma, and there's so much of that that that's what's put upon the people and that's what the people think and that's what the people how the people look at us in return it started to evolve a little into something that's not as taboo but it still is taboo and i think that for a long time it'll always be taboo because there's so many of the bad clubs that's weighing it down um every movie ain't like the players club. every strip club ain't like the players club every strip club ain't like the clubs on hustle and flow you know what i'm saying and that's what's put upon the people and that's what the people that don't experience it for themselves.
put yourself in their shoes. Like, what do you think they're doing it for? Or look at the bigger picture, you know? It's enough stereotypes about black women not liking each other or, you know, always having something to say about each other. So if you don't like the strip club, if you don't like strippers, don't go. You know, like, don't go to the club. Or, like, don't hang out with strippers. Like, you don't have to, you know, talk bad about them or anything like that. You know, it's all about what you want to do and how you live your life. This is how these women are choosing to live their life. And some of them make a good profit, some of them don't. But that's really not your business at the end of the day, you know? That's how I feel. You have to do what makes you happy, and this is what's making them happy. I've, I've always kept my stripper life and my mother life separate. You know, me being a mother and me having, of all things, a daughter. I mean, it would maybe be, I wouldn't say it would be different if I had a son because I don't have a son, but me having a little girl that looks up to me and that follows my every move and that, you know, you know, follows my footsteps, so to say, you know, I had to make sure that I was leading her in the right path. I would never say that stripping is the wrong path because, you know, good things come out of stripping, as you can see. But bad things come out of stripping as well. I've always been asked, um, would you let your daughter be a stripper? Being a stripper isn't just getting on stage and shaking your ass. You know, it's more money than just stage money. But when you have a background in gymnastics or in technical dance, it helps your stage presence a little more because you already have that form and you already have the muscle tone and the tightness and the technique 